Hey Hi everybody, there. my name is Kristen Torkelson and I am the chair for the breakfast committee this year. This is my aunt Pat Lloyd and we are here today to talk to you a little bit about the breakfast. So Pat, you actually got me involved with human trafficking a few years ago and really opened my eyes to human trafficking in Sioux Falls and in South Dakota. And I was just blown away. It was one of those things that you just don't think can happen in your city or your town or even your state. So thank you for opening my eyes to that. I think um, anybody that comes to this event is gonna learn more and it's just really something that you can't walk away from. But what got you involved? Well, I like the way you said uh, opening your eyes to it because I think that um, you can open your eyes and then from there you need to open your heart as well. So you've been involved with human tra trafficking for a number of years and you've seen different organizations come in and maybe transition out of Sioux Falls and Call to Freedom is a few years old, um, but we are growing really fast at Call to Freedom. We are oh, yeah. hiring more staff, we are fundraising more, we're getting more federal grant dollars. So what do you like about Call to Freedom? I just like how aggressive they are and how they get out to the right people. Um, you know, whether it's uh, our senators or our governor or, you know, some, some people that can really make a difference in this state and they're not afraid to reach out to them and, and get them involved. Mm -hmm. That's so, so important. Mm -hmm. So if you come to the breakfast this year, you are going to learn a little bit more about Call to Freedom. You're going to hear from some of our clients and you're going to leave there feeling like you would love to get involved. And we would love for you to get involved financially, but we also need great volunteers. We have volunteers that pray for us and for our clients, and we have volunteers that help in our homes with our clients. We need everybody's help that we can get because this is a huge problem. You know, that's what we need is people to reach out to their friends, their family, and make them aware that this is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, they need to be looking for it and mm -hmm. really protecting the innocent lives that are involved. I'm involved with Call to Freedom after attending my first breakfast about two years ago. There was no way that I could leave that breakfast and not get involved. I was personally touched by the survivors that got up and spoke about their trials and tribulations and how they're trying to make a better life for themselves. One client in particular is working with legislation for victims who have felonies so that they can get the jobs that they've dreamed of their entire lives because they deserve just as much a chance as anybody. And so for me to get involved with Call to Freedom through this breakfast was a way for me to be a part of the fight and to support these clients. Not only does Call to Freedom have financial needs, huge financial needs, but also um, there's, there's just an awareness that needs to continue on. We think that everyone knows about human trafficking, and I'm not even sure we've touched on labor trafficking to the point that we need to. This event is a free event to attend. However, we would love your help financially if you're able to support us there. This money will go directly to supporting our clients and rehabilitating them for their future. I just want everyone to know that you're invited to uh, the Call to Freedom Community Breakfast. It's going to be a beautiful event and we're going to learn more about this huge issue of trafficking and how we can all work together to make a difference. So we're also looking for table hosts. So if you're interested in hosting a table at our event, we'd love to have you. You can go to calltofreedom.org slash events and you'll learn more information there. If you're not able to attend the event, you can also donate online at calltofreedom.org.